Listen to that sweet symphony. That's beautiful. Woo. Welcome everybody to the 2023 BuildWit Roadshow. 34 days, 11,000 miles, 27 US states, and three jabronis. Myself, Angel, and Jack. So buckle up, because you're coming with us. Day four, BuildWit Roadshow. We are out here with John Shedek of Shedek Construction. We're about uh, maybe 30 minutes east of Austin, Texas. They're out here building this turn lane for a commercial site. So when you build a site off a highway, you need to make sure the infrastructure off the highway can accommodate that additional traffic. So that's what they're doing, is just getting this turn lane squared away. Oof. So we have John over there in the blade running Trimble Earthworks. And then we've got the 615 uh, scraper, elevating paddle wheel scraper, picking up all of the material he's cutting off here to prepare for that turn lane. A paddle wheel scraper with a blade, an unbelievably fast way to finish. You can have that blade piling up the windrows like he's doing right behind me. That scraper comes through, picks him up on his own. This thing will be graded in no time. Are you working off a model? Yeah. Can you show it to us? It? Yeah. Yeah, and if you swipe two fingers over, it gives you a 3D view that you can kind of move around and check out. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah. This whole model, we uh, we did field fit. So I came out and I towboat this whole site went off the surveyor's control, and then we built that just all on the computer with no plans. So, really? I mean, we had we had line work for plans, but no grades. They didn't give us any grades, so we just made it work. Shot all our our low points for our inverts on our pipes. Yeah. And made the flow lines match. Yeah, as long as it drains. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. So that is John Shedek. Now we're gonna go check out Lone Star Paving up in Round Rock. So we're gonna go through town, probably stop at another hipster coffee shop, because that's how I do it. And then we'll get up to paving, show you guys what Texas paving looks like. All right, stop by the coffee shop. Now we're out here with Lone Star Paving. They are the big paving contractor in town. If there's paving around the Austin area, it's probably Lone Star doing it. We have a cat paver with a shuttle buggy with triaxles loading into that shuttle buggy, paving this new road into a new subdivision. Austin is blowing up. There's people from all over, especially California, saying, get me out of here. I'm gonna go to Texas. We're in Round Rock, about 30 minutes north of Austin, so a lot of people live up here, commute to Austin. This is where it all starts. This road right here that this crew's building, hundreds and and thousands eventually of people will be going in and out of their homes every day, going to school, going to work, doing whatever they need to do to live their daily lives. It starts here with asphalt. The nice thing with that shuttle buggy is you can back the trucks up into that machine and then it fills up the hopper. So you have about two trucks worth of asphalt at any one given time, regardless of where the trucks are at, which keeps the paving machine, the one the machine doing the work, making the money, moving. So while the trucks are backing up or they're over at the plant, they're not coming, they're a little bit spaced out, they typically still have asphalt they need to just keep running with that buggy. It's nice because the whole paving train just keeps on going.
This day's been all over. Saw a turn lane get built with John. Then we just saw some paving into a subdivision. And now we're checking out what's underneath all of that. And that is this. We're in business. I need to go. Out here, Central Texas, crushed stone and aggregate. This is Texas limestone. I was starting to explain where the heck we are and then we got interrupted by the blast. Put the footage in here. This is an aggregate quarry. We're standing at the mouth of the crusher. Trucks come in here, they dump into the feeder, which goes into the primary crusher, which then feeds a shaker deck, which shakes the material, which then produces this base material right here with a lot of fines in it that's suited for a commercial type property. And then the rock without the fines goes to the plant where it's crushed and screened again for the DOT spec material. Most of the material coming out of this plant is base material, road base, or base uh, below buildings. You gotta build everything on a solid foundation out here. So all of this, this whole operation, all these loaders and trucks running around, base material for the roads that we just saw get paved. So in summary, the material is drilled and then it is blasted. And then it is loaded into haul trucks. And then it's hauled to the crusher, the primary crusher. And then it travels over to here, to the secondary crusher. And then it goes through all these screens and conveyors and pops out at the other end as a usable product. That concludes day four of the Build It Road Show. So now we are going, this is the evening ritual, get all our stuff situated, and then tomorrow go to Austin, grab a coffee, breakfast, and head to West Texas. So we will see you there. Stay dirty.